Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Do not be intimidated by the Leica CL's heritage. The replacement of the diode to modify the meter to take a modern battery is simple and straightforward. Begin by removing the back cover. With the back cover removed, the bottom plate is revealed. There are five screws of varying lengths. Make note of the home of each screw so you know where to replace it upon reassembly. While removing the film door latch screws, make sure that the latch shims do not fall free. Tweezers aid in the removal of the latch shims. With the latch shims set aside, the bottom cover can now be removed. There is ample room next to the battery chamber for the positioning of the diode. Before proceeding, remove the shoulder for the long screw of the bottom plate. This will prevent it from falling free and getting lost. Trim the leads to an EGC 109 diode to approximately 1 8 of an inch. Free the black and red wires that lead to the battery chamber. Separate the two wires so that the red wire can be clipped with a wire snips. With the wire clipped, you will now solder in the diode that has already been trimmed. With the job done, it should look something like this. Note the position of the cathode band. Heat shrink tubing that was slipped into position onto the wire before the diode was soldered into place is now pulled into position. Work the heat shrink until it covers the diode body and the diode leads. Once it's in the proper position, apply moderate heat to shrink. Check the condition of the soldering connections of the black and red wire. If satisfactory, route the wire and diode in such a manner that they're not pinching or binding and clear all mechanisms. The position shown is satisfactory. The function of the rewind clutch is not impaired. Install the spacer tube for the long bottom plate screw. Keep the body of the camera level so as not to lose the position of the spacer as you install the bottom plate. With the bottom plate installed, slide the long screw into position. Proceed with replacement of the bottom cover. With the bottom cover installed, you can now use a 1.5 volt battery. With a roll of film and the back cover installed, you're now ready to rock and roll. Thank you for watching.